know that I could build magnetic sculpture. I didn't know I could do all this marble run stuff. But when like Steam Week really opened up that part of me that I didn't really know I had. You just watch a video and you're like, okay, I kind of get that, but I don't get it like all the way and to really like see something that you built with potentially kinetic energy it really makes so much sense now it's like a whole part of my brain like i didn't think it was there but then it just kind of was there that i didn't know about the first day we worked on our mobiles we had asymmetrical mobiles and symmetrical mobiles um before we started building we talked about how we need to balance them out having an even amount of stuff on each side and we talked about actually making it cool and like not really plain a cool design or have a story involved and one group did like um thunderbolts and clouds and rain i thought that was cool on day two we did marble runs and crushable sculptures first we watched a video of george rhodes and all the stuff that he did so we got inspired and we got to create our own marble runs and after a lot of practice we got to do um, thing, a thing called Marble Olympics where we had to build a marble run and we had certain criteria and constraints and we had to see who could knock the cup the farthest. We did a crushable sculpture. We had two marbles and a ball of clay and we had to drop it on. We had to build a potential energy, drop it with kinetic energy and it would hit the crushable sculpture and then it would turn it like cool. Um, so on day three we learned about gears um, and lily and automatas. First you have drive gear and follow gears. We made Mega Rain and um, it's basically the sky you won the lottery. And it was really fun to make and I just turned out really good. Well, on day four we were doing magnets. We have a um, magnet under here that is making these on top, go this way. It's like a moving car and a moving train. We got to see what each other created and then we were like, oh, that's a really good idea. I think I might do that next time. After looking at everyone, you had so many good ideas that your brain was just like about to explode because they were all so creative. Everyone has a different perspective on everything and opinion. When both the parents and the third graders came, they were like, wow, that's amazing. They were really amazed that we could just grow this far and learn that much in just one week. They actually learned a lot of things from us. I think the teachers did a great job of teaching how like, to build a crushable sculpture, how to build a mobile, how to run a mobile, how to do a marble olympics and stuff so i think they just did a great job teaching us when we were building our magnetic sculpture after it wasn't working for a really long time they miss how was like don't give up don't give up and keep finding solutions we can keep testing it just work 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 on it and the teachers like raised your spirits it was challenging at first which made us feel like okay okay we got this we, if it's challenging let's try but then when you did it you were like oh this is simple but it just made you want to find your inner self of like, wow, how did I do this? Like, I would say it was fantabulistic. It was just an amazing week, and I think everybody that does it would enjoy. It. Amazing opportunity. I They're recommend it for everybody. School. You yes. know, they're going to offer a STEAM camp this summer at Short Really? Rest. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Hands down, I'm doing it. Yes. I feel like yeah. I learned a lot during the STEAM week. Yeah. yeah. And have fun at the same time.